Delicious IPA goes back a few years, actually. Uh, Greg approached us with the idea of coming out with a, a new IPA somewhere uh, using some different hops than what we've used in the past uh, and calling it Delicious IPA. We've been brewing it off and on ever since, just draft only out of Escondido. El Dorado is the key hop in the dry hop, and it has elements of citrus in it. It's just a different kind of citrus than what you'd find from the classic 4C hops. It's a little more herbal, uh, and it's very candy-like. And when we tasted it, we're like, oh my God, that's delicious, that's the beer. The Lemon Drop Hop is a, is a new hop variety. It just got named this year. It adds a nice, really clean lemon character. You know, the, the name is suggestive of a lemon drop candy, which is what the hop comes across like. And we thought it'd be a nice complement to the more herbal lemon character that you get off the El Dorado hop. The other hop that we use in the late hop is Calypso. And Calypso is more tropical fruit. It's, it's a very tropical hop. My father-in-law was a big beer drinker and he was diagnosed with gluten intolerance about, I want to say about four years ago. I actually was at the Craft Brewers Conference and I was talking with Chris White from White Labs and he said, hey, there's this enzyme here that we've been selling as, as, as a chill proofing enzyme. It reduces the haze in the finished beer. And he goes, oh, and by the way, it takes out all the gluten. And I'm like, what? What, really? And, and so I started asking him about that and got some more information. The beauty about it is that you can't tell. There, it makes absolutely zero change to the beer. You know, it just takes out these gluten-containing proteins and the benefit is, is huge. And what I think is, is cool about us doing it is this is a stone beer and there's no mistaking this is a stone beer. I just wanted to make a really good IPA with this beer and uh, make it distinguishable from our other, other IPAs. You know, in my opinion, we've, we've succeeded in making a really good West Coast IPA that coincidentally has low gluten levels, and that's, that's a beautiful thing. Clarity Firm is a protease, which will break up uh, proline-rich proteins, which is which proline is an amino acid. In layman's terms, Clarity Firm will basically chop up the gluten molecule so small that the antibodies in um, a person's body won't detect them if you're sensitive to, to gluten. Uh, we cannot legally say it's gluten-free because we brew it with gluten-containing ingredients. We just happen to add an enzyme to try to reduce the amount of gluten in it below uh, the 20 parts per million threshold of gluten concentration that the federal government allows us to call gluten reduced. We do all the testing, um, third party testing for stone and we've really seen that delicious IPA that it's been coming under 10 parts per million. Delicious IPA will be available on draft, uh, but we're not making the gluten reduced claim on draft, even though the beer itself inside the keg is gluten reduced as the same exact process as you know the beer that's gonna be in the bottles. We can't really say, you know, oh yeah, this beer is gluten reduced because you know it could be draft line maintenance. There have been other breweries in the country that have been making gluten reduced beers this way, uh, and they've actually been very helpful to us. And what I think is, is cool about us doing it is this is a stone beer, and there's no mistaking this is a stone beer. 